Sean Merriman are back. Time for my favorite segment. <laughs> Anti-social got my Twitter off here. Our social media manager, Darnell Smith, is here to tell us what's popping on those Twitter what streets. Up, what up, homie? What up, on, fellas? What's crack a lack of back? My man. Am I all black on today? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We about to kill you. All right, Let's what's popping? All right, man, we're going to start off talking about the Pro Bowl. Yep. With life's oh, favorite boy. quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, ruffled some feathers by wearing this Chargers jacket in the rain. Chiefs fans are pretty upset, dropping angry tweets and gifts after seeing this on TV. I think people are reaching on this one. Mm. Whitlock, you're our resident Kansas City fan. What do you think? I wouldn't be caught dead in Chargers gear. Wow. Oh, there he go. <laughs> and you sandwiched between us. Right. I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be caught dead. But look, if it was raining outside and it's cold in Orlando or whatever, I don't mind him putting all the, you know, he, he just did it because it was raining, man. You, you, you're not going to give me the disrespect. No, he home. did it because y'all cheat. If y'all want to <laughs> send some equipment to in Orlando. Hello, y'all need to address? Like every other team was sending stuff to Chargers in a bunch. Because we send a bunch of players too as well. That's oh. Oh, yeah, shots that's fired. what we do for that. I, I looked. I looked at it as he was throwing shade. Because I, I remember back in the day where I wore a Raiders hat one time. I was basically saying I own you, right? I own it. I own a team. I was throwing shade. I think he's oh. quietly throwing shade. Ooh. That's how I looked at. it. I didn't think it because of the rain or anything else. I, I just I thought he was throwing shade. New wrinkle. I really don't think it's any of that. I think he just it was he was getting rained on. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me get that. Let me get that. Put that on so I can get stay you stay think dry. He, he, they missed that big bolt on the left side. Of I that don't year? even yeah. think anybody thought of it. This is the one time your jersey, your helmet, it don't even matter. Bobby said, you know, if Philly nah. ain't good enough to be here, I'm <laughs> wow. 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 He's done wow. in Philly. Hey, yeah. Trying to show y'all a little love. No, you want to charge hey, hey, Patrick Mahomes on one, though, right? He out there cursing on TV, <laughs> wearing any old jersey. He's doing yeah. himself a little bit. Hey, if you a, pee, baby, I'm down to death row. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't tripping. It's my league, huh? <laughs> All right, Darnell, what's next? All right, man, let's talk about a story you guys touched on earlier. The controversy in the NFC Championship. More fuel was added to the fire after people found out that the four of the referees from the game were from Southern California. Social media was predictably outraged, calling them cheaters, and claiming that this was proof that the matchup was rigged. Again, I think the fans are reaching here. We all know there's plenty of opportunities the Saints uh, had to win. But you, you guys think this is fishy? I, I think it's a total non-story. Because first of all, you got to find four Rams fans out here in L.A. And you can't tell me what? that the four Rams Man. fans Wait, out Chargers here. Wait, Chargers and Rams get smoked? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about Rams. I didn't, oh, I didn't bring the oh, oh, Chargers would be hard to find two besides you two. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, but again, hey, the, the rest being from SoCal, man. Big deal. Big deal, right? Like this, this ain't no part of the conspiracy. I don't even know why they Adam Shepard yeah. put this story out. Why they? Yeah, exactly. I mean, where people live shouldn't have to dictate what their, their rooting interests are. Uh, here's, a, here's a fun fact. Eight out of ten NBA players live in L.A., damn it, all season. Seven out of ten in NFL. Six out of <laughs> right. ten baseball. Right. Half of them mocky. Everybody want to live in L.A., dog, so you're going to act like you won't have anything in this world, entertainment, sports, anything, if you want to discount or exclude L.A. residents. Come on, man. Just how hey, it the Rams just got to L.A. Come on, man. The refs probably been in this league forever. Like, it's a non-story. We're digging. They're digging. They're trying to find something. This nothing. What I've seen is, I said, you know how many refs I ran into in San Diego, especially downtown of the gas plant, where I spent 75% of my time? <laughs> I would see them all the time. I would go by and tap them on the back and say, hey, man, you going to call that call? I'm still getting hell right now. You right. still ain't called it. Right. So I would see guys all the time, and they would give me they would give me stuff all I mean, it's just, it doesn't matter. And fans don't get it. Even during the games, refs are cool. You be like, hey, man, yeah. you be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he throw the flag right on you. You be like, hey, dog, I thought we were cool. Right. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. I'm saying, the wording of this story bothered me because mm. as a journalist, I, I don't even get uh, raised eyebrows around the NFL. If that's your new news pick, that an eyebrow raised and therefore that justifies the story, that someone said, ooh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah. If that's all it takes to get on the front page of a news outlet and to fan the flames and besmirch the integrity of people, mm. that's a really low bar. I will say one thing, and I heard this. They said, let's not take the referees out of what they've earned, NFC Championship game or Championship game level. Put them in KC against the Patriots. And in the NFL, let's just be smart, big business. 
it's not the best optics to have four L.A. residents play. If they have it's an option. It's not even something they thought about, I guess. That's the right. point. It's not. Uh -huh. And if you're a big business, you need somebody who getting paid 27000 to think about the little things. Right. And pay that person to do a moment like Look, this. New Orleans put them first two possessions in the end zone. Are we talking about these refs? No. Thank you. Nobody would care. Thank you. Here y'all go. Right. Yeah, what city is Sean Payton from? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darnell, what's, what's next? Yeah, our guy Eric Mangini was on First Things First this morning. He's talking about a bounce-back game from Ty Gurley in the Super Bowl. Take a listen. It's easy to be gracious in victory. I think if the Rams had lost, this, this whole discussion would be different about mm. why would they use CJ instead mm -hmm. of Todd Gurley? How can you leave him on the bench? He averaged seven. Now, when you win, everybody's like, oh, yeah, so you know. It worked well. Slow right. clap. To me, you need to give him 15 carries in the Super Bowl and give him a chance to be the player that he's been all season. Y'all expect Todd Gurley to get a heavy workload on Sunday? Uh, not because of anything that happened last week. I, I, I think I'm hopped fully on the Sean McVay bandwagon. I don't think Ty Gurley had a problem with this. Ty Gurley dropped two passes. One of them was an interception. He didn't deserve snaps last game. Yeah, he did. Um, he does need to get restored and returned back to favor and to where he is as, of greatness. It's tough, though, because C.J. Anderson, if he goes out there in those first few carries and it just looks... I mean, running back is interesting because you can see the lightning yep. and electricity mm -hmm. difference from one to the other. So it could be the same hole, it could be the same play call, but it looks different. And if it looks different again for C.J. Anderson, Gurley might get benched again. And I think he has to. He has to in order for him to win. I think you can go out and, and beat the Saints that way, but you won't beat the Patriots that way. So I think he has to get the ball in order for him to come out with a, a victory in the first place. I disagree. I don't think he has to. They, they've won without him. And I think, number one, Ty, you can't, as a player, Ty Gurley looks shook, bruh. Mm. Like, in that game, he looks shook. He looked different. Like, I yeah, got... If I need you wobbling around, I'd be I, shook, I, too. I, 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 under, I understand. <laughs> I understand all that. I put, I put that... I need you on the sideline right now because it's working for him. Look, yeah. he dropped two passes, and then I think on three pass plays, on two of them, he was hot garbage. Yeah. Right. Blue brown. He pass, said it. Soft and pass protection. I had no problem with how they used him last week, and if he doesn't play well, he won't play this week. All right, we got a new element for antisocial. New element. Darnell, take it away. It's Darnell. That's my guy. My guy. My question of the day. My guy. My guy. Yeah, so. Man. <laughs> Don't hate on your boy. No, no, no. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Wasting your talents behind that desk. <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> you hear that, Whitlock? <laughs> no, I didn't. I Go ahead. <laughs> well, all right, guys, ever since we started anti-social, I've had a chance to be in front of the camera. I've been having random people just reaching out to me from high school to middle school. Mm. People I haven't spoken with in years. And it gets kind of confusing on who's real and who's fake. So my question for you guys is, how do you decipher between the real and the phony? Mm. Mm. I'm going to let y'all pro okay. ask me. Oh, I got you. All right, my coach, Coach James, LA Jets, shout out to him. When I was getting drafted, he told me one thing. He said, if you want to know who's real from fake, listen to people. They'll tell on themselves. Ooh. That was one. Use that to this day, so I'm listening to y'all. Second thing is, learn to say no without guilt. Everyone learns to say no at a certain point, but you can't wear it with you. Once you say no, move on. You learn to do those two things, you be straight. God, whatever you say, you got to say it in front of a person's face and behind them. Like, right? I mean, I, you know, you say, if you're going to talk behind his back, you better say the same thing in front of him. So mm. that's the only way to say real to me. Mm. You know what? <clears throat> I, I used to hear this all the time. You changed. And I'd be like, you did too. Because when I didn't have this, you never asked me for anything. <laughs> 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 hey, so uh, you, you changed. Darnell, but you have changed, man. I'm trying to get in your pockets. And you ain't. Man, I'm trying to get in your pocket. We <laughs> <laughs> right now, <laughs> <laughs> it's my guy. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Y'all dodging a little bit. What? How do? Not you, Marcel. Oh, okay. How do you discern between who's real and who's fake? And yeah, you get a little shine. Mm. Y'all went through it as athletes. Wait, but hell, y'all were stars in high school and in college. But NFL is the next level. How do you discern between who's real and who's fake? Yo, know, yeah. For me, it's, it's being able to be around somebody needing something and don't ask. Right? I mean, it's a bunch of people, they know we got it, True. know we go and make it to the pros, and they got it, and they're still around. And they might need some rent money. They might need to pay the car, though. You mm. know that. They still don't ask to me that's a real that's a real person. I want to follow up it. on this because that is something I truly believe in. Yep. I believe the real people in your life, you have so much engagement with them that you know what's going on in their life. And if you're in position to do something to help them when they're in a jam, they won't have to ask 
because y'all are so connected that you can sense that, and they will know that if there's something Darnell could do, he would have already done it. Absolutely. And so it is the people that end up asking you. Yep. They're the ones who really aren't in your life because they haven't been letting you in on the whole process along the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. I had a family, fortunately, that they never asked me for anything. Like mom, dad, siblings, I'm, I'm one of four, never asked me for anything. And so when everybody else would come and ask, it's like my family, not my, fa my, my direct family is not even asking. So I kind of use that as a barometer to where I was able to fend off others. Uh, but to your point, it's great. When, if you're close enough to people, you're gonna know their situation. You're gonna want to help them out. Right. They don't have to ask you. You know what they need, and you you genuinely want to help them out. Most people, most of us, want to help. Damn yeah, right. But when you ask me over and over again, uh -uh. you kind of you making me feel I, I don't want nothing to do with you I, now. I want to, Marcellus. You made a great point too about your coach because it's another thing that I've, if you'll be quiet and listen. People will tell you everything, everything. about themselves. Oh, everything. It's, it's the people that talk too much that you never hear what the other person is saying. That's how you get confused. Yeah. Hey, my coach got another one, too. He said, are you here for the parade or are you going to be here to help build these floats? It's a Ooh. big difference. A lot of people want to show up when it's all <laughs> confetti coming down. You're going to help yeah. build the floats? Nah, my coach was deep. One last one. Oh, you got one? I got one more. Yeah. You got one mouth, two ears, and two eyes for a reason. You should do four times as much listening and observing as talking. There it is. Like that. Coming up, Dropped we just saw maybe the strangest Pro Bowl ever. Is it time for the NFL to, to make some serious changes? We get into that. Hurts!